Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. That's it. <laughs> Stop looking at the camera. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. This is literally how I wake up every single morning. He doesn't let me like peacefully wake up. Like as soon as he feels me start to move in the bed, he comes over and he starts licking my eyelids open and my ears and all of that. And he forces his way. Yeah, this is what he does. Why is he like this? I don't know. <laughs> but good morning, you guys. Ow. If you can't tell by the title of this video, we're vlogging, we're doing my morning routine. You guys are gonna spend the day with me, hence why we're starting our day together. Today's gonna be a content day for me. Um, I have some errands to run, and we're gonna cook later as well. I'm not going to the gym today because it's actually my rest day. I'm so sore, literally like woke up. My whole body is just not, like, my body is sore, okay? I went so hard in the gym yesterday, so today's definitely going to be a rest day, but we still got a lot of stuff planned, but I'm about to get up and start my day because this dog, he's ridiculous. Like, he's so ridiculous. <laughs> he's so ridiculous, man. Like, I literally can't with this dog. He has so much personality. Like, now I've had him for literally, like, a year now. To see him grow up, but also just see his little personality develop is so funny to me because he really has his own little personality and he really is like he's a capricorn like when i tell you he like has like those capricorn tendencies and i feel like i would know partially because i'm a cat moon so i feel like our we have the same level of stubbornness on things but this dog is so stubborn you guys like literally he does not take no for an answer and if he does it's a very short lived no and then he's right back to doing what he wants to do but he just has like a little attitude sometimes like he be huffing and puffing and it's so funny but like he's so lovable literally is like the most clingy like loving attention seeking like companion like he literally just loves being in my presence he loves being with me like he doesn't care where we go in the world as long as he gets to be right next to me um when i take him outside you know like he'll come with me to run errands and stuff like he's cool as long as he's with me like i'm really his person and yeah this is just he always has to have at least one paw on me and it's just so funny like this is my Best friend is my little, my baby. He's my baby. He's my baby. You he mommy's baby. You he mommy's baby. But yeah, let me get up and start my day because it's a little after 8. It's like 8.15. My alarm started going off at 7, but I snoozed it, Joe. I'm going to make some tea. <laughs> Benson don't be eating all his food. This is from last night. He's, his appetite is not that large. Give him fresh water. And gonna top my baby off. And I always put some ice cubes. Oh, chill. Why did I spill the water? And of course, you would step right in it, boy. Thanks. Mm. 
And then usually while my water's boiling and Benson's eating, I brush my teeth. I feel like I have a full, 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 full day ahead of me. So I'm just trying to get it going because I always know when I'm going to have a full day. Like, I just checked my emails. Like, I glanced at my emails and I have too many to respond to. And it's crazy because I've gotten into the habit of checking them every day, but they've just been coming in like a lot recently. I don't know what's happened, but everyone always asks me, how are my teeth so white? Like I get those questions a lot in person, like, you know, just being out in public and stuff, but then also from you guys online, like DMs, comments, whatever. I always, I used to always, like when I tell you, like three years ago when I moved to LA, I literally was like, I'm only ever gonna buy charcoal toothpaste. And for like the first two years, the only toothpaste I ever had in my house was charcoal toothpaste. And I know how some people feel about it, but I don't know, I always felt like it cleaned my teeth, but it also kept them really white. And then I obviously would like floss, I always had mouthwash, stuff like that. Cause I don't think brushing your teeth is just one thing. I honestly feel like it's like, it should be its own little routine or step system. But now I switched over to the Crest 3D White. I don't know if this one whitens my teeth over time, but I think it's maintained the whiteness of my teeth. I think I'm gonna go back to my charcoal because I don't know, something just about brushing with my charcoal toothpaste, just like, I don't know, I feel like it tricks me into thinking that it's doing more than it actually does. But from, I personally feel like that's what made my teeth like super white. They're not super white, but they're white for natural teeth, you know? Like, it's obviously not giving veneer white, but it's pretty white for some natural teeth. Child, and there go my teeth. I would have been done brushing my teeth before I wasn't yapping, but I'm talking to you guys, so it's okay. I have a little Oral-B electric toothpaste, I mean toothbrush. I don't know what it is about brushing my teeth, but it'd be making my nose itchy. My bonnet being on like this, I'm just gonna leave it because this is real AF. Like, you okay, buddy? This is how I be waking up. This is how I look more. I don't care. Like, real. <laughs> Hashtag real. Next step, I always do this, gotta do this. I absolutely hate a white tongue. I just brush my tongue anyway. Like, I always brush my tongue to like cleanse it, to like clean it so that, you know, it has the toothpaste on it it's minty fresh but to actually like get this like anything off of my tongue tongue scraper girl if you're not using a tongue scraper you need to get you one i will i got a pack of two off of amazon it was like eight or nine dollars it's a little metal one they sell plastic ones but really ew but like it's so necessary <laughs> My tongue is pink because I do it every day. No amount of brushing your tongue is going to get everything off. Like, you need to scrape it. And it sounds crazy, but, like, this changed my life. Mouthwash. TikTok put me on. Hold on, let it focus. TikTok put me on. This is actually really good. And there was, like, a little hack to, like, put baking soda and peroxide in here like mix it and that whitens your teeth and i did it i bought a pack of two i'm about to place another order on amazon but i bought a pack of two and i did it with one bottle and then the other bottle i just left regular this is the regular bottle i finished the whitening one so that also probably aided in my teeth being white but yeah i don't do anything super super fancy like that's pretty much the extent of it There's something triggering my allergies. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take some allergy medication. Is anyone else like this too? But like, I literally can't start my day unless I make my bed. Making my bed is a must. Has to happen. So I'm about to make my bed.
And just like that, the morning has started, honey. Oh, got my tea, my peppermint tea. I've really been loving peppermint tea lately. And I can't eat like as soon as I wake up. I don't have an appetite typically for like the first hour or two that I'm up. So I'll make my tea, sip on that. And then by the time I'm done with my tea, I'm like hungry. And that's when I make myself breakfast. Um, but I usually will sit at my desk and I'll go through my emails. But I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I actually have stuff to do today. So it is currently, yeah, it's currently 8.47 and at 11, I'm gonna be meeting up with my girl Jade. And we're gonna have like a cute little content day together at um, this coffee shop that just opened like pretty recently in downtown LA. Issa Rae actually owns it. So I'm kind of excited about that because I love Issa. I loved Insecure. I think she's bomb and that's a black woman. And that's a black woman business so i'm a support <laughs> duh it's like a cute little workspace too like the way that they have it set up is like definitely go there with your laptop you know bring your work you can go there study whatever like on the weekends they have brunch the brunch menu looks amazing it is thursday so it's not the weekend but definitely gonna probably get like breakfast there and a coffee i obviously need to like shower and do all of that stuff it's time for me to wash my hair my hair is so stinky and like oh it's just not cute so i need to do all of that stuff before i meet up with her at 11 i have about two hours really like an hour and a half so yeah i'm about to hop in the shower like i'm gonna fake go through these emails just a little bit <laughs> but then i'm gonna hop in the shower because i feel like i can't really do anything until i shower wash my hair all of that stuff like i could you know like you just feel like i don't feel dirty like i took a shower last night but as far as just like starting your day like having a really nice fresh start to your day is like jump in the shower let the water hit your body let it run through your hair i'm gonna shampoo it's gonna feel so good i'm gonna massage my scalp Okay, so I just finished checking my emails and I'm about to hop in the shower. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Shout out to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. I had the wonderful opportunity of ordering my very own customized shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. Look at how cute. Wait, let me take it out the box. You go on and you basically take a quiz and the quiz asks you a bunch of questions in regards to things that you want um your hair products to do for you so all of my choices that i picked for my products were along the lines of hydration um dry flaky scalp remedies soothing scalp nourishing my roots deep condition curl definition and um, I picked silicone free because those are just things that are important to me. So look at how freaking cute. Ah! And you get to pick the color of your product. So you can choose to do like a dye free color if you don't want your product to have a color in it. But I picked purple and pink because you guys know this is my absolute favorite colors. And it just looks so cute. And it says function of jasmine on the bottle. Like, oh my gosh, isn't that adorbs? And then on the conditioner too, in pink, what? This is so cute. I'm obsessed. So you customize and you basically build your own product. So I picked a shampoo and conditioner. They have leave-ins on there um, and then a bunch of other products as well. But the two that are really the most important for me in my hair care routine are the shampoo and conditioner that I use. And I wanted to try something that was really tailored specifically to me and my needs. So that's why I was really excited to try Function of Beauty because I've never had a product that literally was made for me like literally from scratch made for me and then you're gonna get like a little kind of pamphlet with you know the name of your product on it so it says function of jasmine along with all of the things that you chose 
for your products and then kind of like a product breakdown on the inside this is my personalized regimen shampoo and conditioner it says lather shampoo with water on hands from before massaging into hair focus on the scalp use fingers to distribute product from roots to end working your way through the length of your curls rinse and repeats uh, conditioner is gently smooth on conditioner on clean wet hair coating through to ends allow conditioner to sit for five to ten minutes comb through with curls on a wide tooth comb and safely detangle like I said my main hair goals were um, curl definition soothing my scalp hydration and nourishing my roots those are all like really important to me you guys know I suffer from an extremely dry like flaky scalp sensitive scalp like my scalp will just be really sensitive um, after a couple of days I get a lot of product buildup so I need something that's gonna really cleanse and clarify my scalp but not extremely dry it out so I'm excited to see what it's giving and how it's gonna be in the shower so I'm literally about to use this in the shower right now but I wanted to show you guys before I hopped in I'm gonna put the little pumps that come with it in my bottles when my hair is clean <sighs> I just have a good day it's like an amazing start to my day so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm freshly showered, hair washed, lotioned, all that stuff, half dressed. Gonna do a little bit of skincare. I washed my face in the shower already, so we're gonna just jump right into it.
Okay, so I'm dressed. I just threw on this um, bodysuit that was in my last haul. Um, I'll link it. It's on my Amazon storefront, but I'll link it in the description box. It's like a little skin suit. It's so comfortable. The stretch and the fabric is really nice, and I don't have to wear a bra with it. So it's just holding the girls up. I threw on my little denim shorts that I thrifted. And I just dressed these on my own. They're like one of my favorites. I've literally had these for years. And then I have on these Yeezys and my Lorvays in the style Unbothered in the red color. Scarlet. Yeah. And I packed my little, I packed my uh, tote bag. I got my laptop in here, you know. All the necessities jade actually just texted me and said she needs like another 20 minutes which is perfect like that's fine with me i don't have to rush um but i am ready to go so i'm gonna just like hang out with benson a little bit more tidy up and then head to the coffee shop
back home from hanging out with Jade today. We had a lot of fun. We got some content done. We honestly like just talked about this crazy, crazy life as an influencer. It was a great day. Um, and then we walked over from the coffee shop we were at to Sephora. And I picked up some goodies. I didn't go crazy. I only got two things. I will say, the two things that I got, like I've been wanting. And I don't know. I kind of just bit the bullet and I got it. So, first, let's do let's do the first thing I picked up. I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This was literally all over TikTok. You guys sold it out. No, I didn't get it on sale. The Sephora sale literally just ended, so I paid full price for these items like a dummy. I don't want to hear it. <sighs> it is what it is. But <laughs> the the shade that I got is what shade is this? Been uh, vanilla beige they have a clear one but they didn't have any clear ones out and i didn't feel like asking somebody to see if they had in the back so i just got this one it's like a nude color it has like a really clear not a clear it has a very transparent finish so even though it has color my lips being brown naturally yeah it looks clear on me or not clear but you can't really tell that it has a, a color to it this is like my kind of nude it feels very soft smells like vanilla smells really good i like the applicator it has like a dip in it so it actually fits to the curve of your lip this was 24 dollars. i feel like this is comparable to the laneige glowy lip balm which is 18 dollars, but literally the size of that bottle is like this big this is much bigger and i feel like you're obviously getting way more products so for a couple of dollars more i don't know i kind of like it so far i can see why people were raving about it like it's cute like this is like my kind of like everyday you know little situation i got that and then the other item that i got jade miss jade girl if you're watching this if you're not i already told her to her face she's posted content recently um of her wearing brown mascara but then she was wearing brown mascara today when we met up and her eyes just look so pretty and so soft and so like just pretty like she has brown eyes and I feel like the brown mascara just made her brown eyes pop even more. And she had on very natural makeup, but I was just like in love. Like I literally could not stare, stop staring at her eyes. She probably thought I was in love with her, um, which I am. But like, no, literally like it was so pretty and i was like i want that but like she literally posted she posted some videos like instagram reels of, i think of her wearing brown mascara and i was like i need to add that to my list of things that i want to buy so we went to sephora and she literally showed me which one she has and it's this ysl brown mascara i don't own anything from ysl so this is gonna be like this is a first time first purchase from them this is what the bottle looks like it's pretty big. Um, I absolutely love the brush applicator. I, I can tell, based on my kind of lashes, I can tell what kind of mascara wands are gonna really do something for my lashes and the ones that aren't gonna really like do anything. And I like a, a mascara wand that has, it's not like a comb, but is an actual brush obviously, but has a lot of different little like brush hairs that kind of like fan out my lashes while also adding volume and i feel like this is going to do wonders i don't even want to open it yet because i don't want to put any air inside of it but when i use this you guys are going to see but like she literally sold me on this because when i tell you it looks so pretty it looks so soft it's like a great like everyday kind of look but then she also wore it to an event that we went to and like dressed up her eyes with like some eyeshadow and stuff and it still looked bomb and i was like hmm I need to try brown mascara like I never thought I would have been a brown mascara kind of girl but like honestly I might be making the switch like still gonna wear black but like black is definitely a lot more bold this though is an E I'm very excited about that so I have some errands to run but I also want to take a nap I don't know like I feel a little tired but I know if I take a nap and I wake back up then I'm not gonna go run my errands so part of me feels like I just need to like power through my sleepiness so the errands that I have to run I need to go to the bank and I need to go to Trader Joe's and get some food so I think I'm gonna like rest for like an hour and then I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's you guys I just got to Trader Joe's Eboldies literally walking in 
I, you're not allowed to have cameras in here, so I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. <laughs> I'm back home from Trader Josie Woozies. Literally, I've got the goods. We got one full bag and another full bag. I actually only spent $111, which is really good for all of the stuff that I got. I'm gonna keep it real simple, real cute. I'm not doing nothing crazy. I literally don't even feel like cooking and I took a nap earlier. So I really have the energy to but I have like cleaning up to do um, and I just want to chill honestly like I had a very productive day it was a great day I'm gonna be making this butter chicken with basmati rice it's the chicken it's the rice the whole container uh, 24 grams protein and then I got the non bread I'm gonna put one of these in the oven it's so good. And me and Benson are gonna watch The Night Agent together. Benson really be watching TV with me. Like when I say he watches TV with me, he like literally his eyes will be glued to the screen. This is only a minute or two, so I'm gonna wait. Guys dinner is served i got my butter chicken basmati rice and my naan it's actually i cut it in half so it's really supposed to be like that i'm currently watching the night agent on netflix it's getting really good i'm on season one episode nine and i feel like it's getting juicy so i'm gonna eat my dinner and watch a little netflix and just chill for the rest of the night because it's so long it's been a long day i hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and i hope you enjoyed today's video i love you guys so much if you did then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe you guys know i'm trying to hit 150k i love you guys don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see my next upload bye